Hi, this is Doug with Database by Doug with a video on the cast function. This enables you to convert from one data type to another data type. Uh, it's a common type of thing that you'd need to do in data wrangling. So if you're getting data from multiple sources and uh, need to get it in one place or change its representation, maybe you're getting things as text or a comma CSV uh, delimited and you might want to be change it into another data type, cast would be the function that you'd use. So here I have select 4.0, uh, but I've delimited it uh, so it's treated as a variable character. But what if um, it came in as a variable character, so it's in a field somehow as a variable character, but I'd like to do arithmetic on it. So if I just put the plus statement in there, it uh, the database engine does a pretty good job at kind of guessing what I might want to mean here and uh, says, well, I'm going to convert this variable character to a floating point number and do numeric arithmetic. Now, just to point out that um, it made a guess at what I want, but maybe I meant to take those two things and concatenate them and treat them as strings. And so the plus means, in this case, uh, string concatenation or character concatenation. So the database engine is definitely making a guess at what I want to do, and we're hoping that it guesses right. So um, this guess that it does and the conversion that happens is called an implicit conversion. And so it implicitly converts this and then does addition, and it picks float as the uh, implicit conversion because there's a float on the other side of the plus sign. So we are making an assumption here uh, that the database engine just knows what I mean and that it will do the right thing in the end. And, and in a lot of cases, this is going to work. And for throwaway code, this might not be a big deal. But if you're embedding code into a system and you'd like the system to work all the time and not have bugs, it is better to explicitly convert the data type. So here is how I would do that. So if I do a cast of 4.0 as a variable character and say as float, what it's going to do is say cast, here, the source data type is variable character because it's got quotes around it as float so this cast will occur and the result will be 4.0 as a float and then it will for sure do addition so um, in this case I'm not relying on the database engine to know what I mean and know that the plus sign means numeric uh, addition when I cast this it will for sure know that it's numeric addition so you can generally cast between data types fairly freely. And uh, just to take a quick look, we can see the uh, set of allowable uh, SQL Server data types and their conversions. So um, I should point out that certain data types are not allowed to convert from one to another. So um, those are the red X's. Some are implicit conversions, and some require explicit conversions. So, um, so anyway, you can uh, delve into that at your leisure. So, um, here are a few common things that you might want to do. So, um, converting between numeric and dates as as different pieces, and getting those to character represent representation and typically you do this when you need to concatenate so consider these two right here um, I'm trying to do a conversion or uh, allow or have an implicit conversion occur and what I'm trying to do is get Doug one as a string and what I'm getting is a failure because it can't implicitly uh, figure out what I'm trying to do and the same thing here. So I'm trying to concatenate on one side I have numeric and on one side I have strings. In order to fix that what I would do is do the cast on the number to convert it to a variable character and notice that Doug and then converting this to variable character so I have variable character on the left of the plus, variable character on the right of the plus so it knows that the plus means um, 
character concatenation. And same thing here. So um, also notice that I uh, am going to have trouble doing a concatenation between a date data type and a character. So uh, in this case what I'll do is I'll cast the date uh, to a string or a vari variable character and then concatenate it. All right. Now sometimes you also might want to concatenate or excuse me to force some specific type of operation. In a way that's what we're doing with a plus uh, we're kind of forcing it to either be numeric addition or string concatenation. But consider this. Let's say that I have uh, 3 divided by 2. So in this case, it sees an integer and an integer, and it does integer division. So a 2 only goes into 3 one time. It ignores the remainder. So I'm getting integer division because there's an integer on either side. But what if I don't want integer division? So what I could do is... Um, you know, change literals. So literals are easy to change. I can just put 3.0 and 2.0 and that means that this is a floating point and that's a floating point and now it does floating point division. However, what if I don't have control over the fields involved? So I happen to know that in the Northwind database, the products table, units in stock is an integer, units on order is an integer, and just to avoid a, a division by zero, I've put this not equal to zero in the WHERE clause. So what I get is uh, results of all whole numbers, zero, one, and two. So I'm getting integer division here. But if I'd like to do that as floating point division, what I can do is cast each item. So units in stock from an integer to a float, cast units on order from an integer to a float, and then have division in between and now what I get is floating point division. Another common conversion is from var car to date time so sometimes a date will come in as a string and I would like to convert it so it's a usable date and I can use the date functions on it. So notice these differences here what I've got is 4 8 2018 as variable character and notice how they show up differently. Notice here I've got this as a string. It's just showing, it doesn't even know that it's a date. It just repeats it uh, back into uh, the cell for me. But if I cast this as a date, it actually changes the format and I can sort of infer that it's actually changed the internal representation from a variable character to a date. And then notice if I cast to a date time, which has more accuracy, or I'm sorry, a date time too, I can see that it, it has done that, conver that conversion to a date time too, and just, um, you know, left all the time portion as uh, zeros. Now, uh, also consider this one where I've got a string representation, so I might have a CSV file or some data coming in from another source as that is the format of the date. And you can see that it's shown as a string here or a variable character. Um, here, if I cast it as a date, it actually loses the accuracy, right? So the 11 a.m. goes away. And however, if I cast it to a date time too, I actually get uh, you know, the time portion of it also. So in summary, cast is used uh, to convert from one data type to another. Um, for throwaway code, uh, and without much thought, I, I often write code that will just do the implicit conversion and I may not be looking uh, to be explicit. But for a high quality code that I'm going to put embed in a system and I want it to be bug free or as bug free as it can be, I don't rely on implicit conversions. I want every conversion to be explicit and in that case you would use cast. Thanks for watching.